In this lesson, we touch on what lists are, and uh, we're going to dive into those a little bit, show you some fun methods that uh, Python lists ha have. So what are lists? Lists are mutable sequences of elements. Mutable means they can be altered. So let's hit a five on this. Oh, my save, perfect. All right, let's take a quick look at this. So here we declare a variable, empty list equals, and how you declare an empty list is simply calling the list method, open and close parentheses. That will turn the variable empty list into the type of a list. So let's take a look here. Let's go uh, type empty list, and we'll see that it is the list type. That's how you declare an empty list. One one method of how to do that. And here we see it printed out. And we say print empty list. Then we call it our variable of empty list. And we see the list within the square bra uh, brackets with no values. And here we say this is a type of a, we're making a, a list out of a string. So we give it a variable list string equals calling a list command. Let's give it a string, in this case, hello. And when we go and print it out, you'll see that the list command takes each object or each character or each individual string of your string and creates a list of those objects or characters. So let's take a look at this. This is a, a list of a tuple. So a tuple is a different type of, uh, it, it, it's a list of a list. My bad, this is a different example. It's getting late. <laughs> so here we say list tuple equals list. Then we have the values of one and two. And then inside it, we have a tuple of three, five, and seven, which is another set of integers. And when we print it out, we can see that there's a list of one and two. The first object is one, second object is two. And the third object is a tuple with more integers inside of it. So a list can be made up of lists, tuples, and other objects. Let's declare another empty list. Let me show that right here. Empty list is now empty. And we're right here. And here we have, uh, let's see, this is a complex or a, a combination list. So we say list underscore sin equals we declare a list with the, the square brackets. In this case, our first object is a three, a four, the string of an A, a string of a B. And we go ahead and print that out. We get our list right there. Now we use the in operator to say print A is A in the list and we say a in list and we get true from this statement right here because the string of a is indeed in our list and then we check for not in in this case we we look for the integer of one not in the list and of course python checks the list for the integer of one and it is not in there and that is true as well. So the type of object of a list has some other methods. And uh, append is a handy dandy one. So we could say empty list append dot five. Remember we created an empty list up here and it's, it's empty. We add five, we print it out, we have five. And then we call on our list again with the append method. And we say, add the list of six and seven. So append adds items to the end of the list. So our new list has our original five and a sub list in six and seven. Let's move on to another. This is one of my favorite methods, the pop. Pop's pretty fun. So we say last element, empty list, pop, print the last element. Pop 
is a method that, you, that works a, uh, with the list type and it removes, when you don't pass any arguments, it pops or removes the last item in the list. So this last item in the list is a list, six to seven, and when we say print the last element after pop, that is our last element. And then we go ahead and print the empty list after we pop the last element and the remaining object is five. Super cool. Now, empty, so at this point, empty list contains five. There is a clear method. So we say empty list clear and then print the empty list. And once again, it's empty. Pretty cool stuff. Now here, we declare list string, or list string equals list hello. And we print it. And we see each character or is an object, a string object, and it's broken out into individual strings within a list. Now we say print the min, the minimum, right here with the, the min method of list string. So the min method goes through, checks each Unicode value of all these strings and says, ease the minimum. It says, what's the maximum? That was the maximum. Now, there is also another method of sorted. So we say sort our list. Well, E-H-L-L-O. Sort it alphabetically. And then we say print list string. Now we see that we didn't resave the list string as another variable. We just threw it the sorted min and max methods. We print it, we still see it's hello. Now, list string dot reverse is yet another method. It alters the original list. And when we go to print it out, we'll see that our list is now reversed. Reverse is actually quite handy sometimes. That's a little bit more into lists, and that's the end of the video.